Now, being 150, Tim, we thought we'd take a chance to have a quick look back at what we've enjoyed most uh, about doing our, our time here on the show. Yes, so let's hear what the crew thought. 150 episodes. God, where do I start? 150 episodes. That is such a huge milestone. You know, the original run of Pokemon, that's almost one episode per Pokemon. One of my favorite things from the past, say, 150 episodes of New Game Plus is seeing story become relevant in all sorts of gaming, from the small indie titles to the big blockbusters like The Last of Us and Bioshock Infinite. My favorite moment so far has got to be when Jason got us kicked out of Parliament. Trivial. I mean, it's great to kind of go around doing trivia at places all around Melbourne and Sydney, but I think the highlight of all that, co-writing a trivia event that gets presented at the plenary. I mean, we were up there to actually interview Tim Wilson. Uh, we've also done a couple of other interviews with Scott Ludlam and Fiona Patton, uh, Jason Clear, and that's that would be the highlight of those, those interviews. It's been a lot of fun working on this show, um, but definitely uh, looking up and seeing the, all the police around us because Jason had made a ruckus in Parliament was definitely my highlight. It's not the games or the movies or magic or anything like that that I really look back with fondness. Though I do like all that stuff and I have had a lot of fun. It's just being creative and actually making television. That we make a half an hour show every week. They get to work with a great bunch of people. Going to Tokyo with the crew and meeting Yukio Fatatsuki, who is the maker and designer for Phantom Dust and Panzer Dragoon games. Some of my favorite games. I also love the fact that last year at PAX, we opened up a brochure to see our trivia panel name to Rivia Too Furious. That was dumb and that was great. When we were producing this pilot for this show, we were, I was struggling with the music because I had nothing to base it on, base graphics and stuff. I got given the graphics. A week later, I presented it at a party to everyone and they were cheering and clapping and everyone was happy and I loved that moment. Some of my favourite elements of New Game Plus involves all of us uh, collectively as people, ordinary people, talking about video games, about some of our passions, even extending over to movies, uh, media, uh, manga, comics, you name it, we do absolutely everything. I can't believe it's been 150 episodes already and I have to say one of the best memories I've had has just generally been the travelling that we've been able to do with the show. Specifically going to Japan. Now I'd been to Japan before but I am a massive Japanophile so it was just fantastic to actually go to Tokyo Game Show to go experience all these games in Japanese and just see how excited the Japanese get about their video games. And also experience all the you know UFO catches and all the stuff I bought that was really bad. But it was still so exciting. My favourite moment? Right now I guess. How much we've done together, how much have you guys have provided for us to do stuff I guess. How much our fans have just allowed us to do so many great things. I guess my favourite moment, I guess TI3 segment we did like two years ago. I haven't been on the team for long and I haven't been on screen for long but I have watched the series all along and it's been great seeing the team you know evolve and grow up over the time, new people come in and out and you know it's probably one of the more interesting elements of the show. Just knowing that there's at least one, two, three hundreds of people out there um, listening to us about some of our valid opinions is just such an amazing feeling. Now we get to do a lot of cool stuff on the show yes. and I think probably looking back my favourite was E3, the hustle and bustle, yep. running in between interviews, seeing a lot of cool people yeah, and yeah. meeting some really passionate people that really cared about their games. Yeah, and, and like, and that's, I guess that's always the great part even with TGS, like going to TGS, seeing, you know, everybody doing their thing and not only that, just kind of, you know, getting out of, of Melbourne and, and kind of having a bit of fun with it as yeah. well. I mean, I've met some inter like some fantastic devs. I met, you know, uh, Warren Spector, Suda51, you know, heaps of, of people I respect and have grown up, you know, playing their content and stuff like that. Yeah. But I, I'm going to be real for a second. I'm going to be real. My favourite moment of the last 150 episodes is every time I walk down the street and some guy comes up or some girl comes up or some anybody comes up and says, hey, you're the guy from New Game Plus. I really like the show. <laughs> like, being as sooky as I get. Like 100%. being the celebrity. <laughs> yeah, like, no, it was just the fact that people actually watch this crap we make. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I think that that's probably my favourite part of it all. 